In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to configure the maximum line length and enable in Visual Studio Code the line length editor rulers. Line length refers to the number of characters or symbols on a single line of code. So a single line of code is a measure of how long a line of code is in terms of characters that includes spaces and any other symbols. In Visual Studio Code, at the bottom, in the bottom menu, if you were to select any line of code, if you have a look, go to the, hopefully you can see that at the bottom being highlighted, it tells me there are 77 characters in this line. If I select this line here, we're told there's 55 and so on. So this is what it's referring to in terms of line length. Now, in many coding standards and style guides, there is often a recommended or required maximum line length. Adhering to a specified line length can contribute to code readability and maintainability. So longer lines may be harder to read on a standard display and excessively long lines might require horizontal scrolling. So you can imagine having to read through code to try to check for errors, for example, and not only having to scroll down, but also scrolling across that can make it challenging to view the code comfortably. Ultimately, how long you set the line length is going to be up to you or potentially your team. The PEP8 Python style guidelines provides a recommendation of limiting all lines to a maxim, maximum of 79 characters. That doesn't mean that we need to follow the 79 characters. Here, for example, in the Django framework, in the documentation, we're told to follow along with black and black has a default of 88 characters. In our courses, we generally stick to 88 because that is the default maximum line length defined in black. And we use black throughout all of our courses. So we don't need to specify or configure black because that's already configured with a maximum line length of 88. But what we will need to do is tell PyLint and Flake 8 that that is the maximum line length that we're going to be utilizing. So we have throughout this mini series, preparing for development, been working towards creating this settings.json file at the project level. So let's go ahead and remove now the examples we created for Flake 8 and PyLint. Let's go ahead now and add the line length. So for both PyLint and Flake 8, let's set the maximum line, le line length to 88. Having done that, we can also now add an additional option. So what can be really handy is to have some sort of visual guide on screen so we can start to see when we're getting close to that maximum line length. So at the bottom, we can set the editor our rulers, and then we set that to 88. And we see the outcome of that. So we set that to 88, that's our maximum line length. So we haven't now set the ruler. Let's go back into our file here and you can now see on the left-hand side, you might need to restart your Visual Studio Code editor. You can see on mine, there is now a visual line on the right hand side. So if I keep pressing save, remember when I press save, black is triggered and it will format the page. And you can see nothing's happening at the moment, but let me just extend the name of some of these models. You can see as I get close, I'm pressing save. As the code goes over the line, you can now see this is on 89. And we're actually told by Flake 8 that actually we're now one over the maximum line length. So Flake 8 is providing that information. Notice that PyLint is not. So once we do that and press save, black obviously also has a maximum line length of 88. So it folds the line down. Black has automatically formatted our code and we're now staying within the stylistic convention that we have decided upon.